This is the first time I'm going to be performing in Japan since I released my last album, The Origin of Love. It's uh, exciting, always, to go back somewhere that you love and to go back somewhere that you love playing uh, with new material and to see how the audience is going to react, because you can never predict it. Um, there are a few songs that I'm really looking forward to singing. Uh, Origin of Love, Popular, Love You When I'm Drunk, all those songs. And seeing if my fans in Japan and Tokyo and Osaka are ready to sing them with me. Uh, so I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. The show is a new concept. It's all uh, white with green polka dots everywhere, and it's, we have a choir of people that are just going to dance on stage with us and sing. And um, It's quite Kusama-inspired, uh, but it's cool. It's very, very happy. It's like going to crazy people church. The most important thing for me in a live performance is to make the songs feel like they come alive. Um, I can't describe it in any other way apart from like when I do a show, I want to make the music feel like it's dancing. Um, <laughs> maybe it's because when I see when I hear music, I see things sometimes. I see colors and shapes and. So I have this vision of the stage becoming like some kind of a, a, a stage full of dancing blobs and shapes and color. And, and it's within that context that we can lose ourselves for two hours and feel energized and inspired. And I think that's the point of a good show. It's like stepping into Fantasia for a couple of hours. My current obsession at the moment for a fun, trashy pop song is Icona Pops. I love it because it makes me dance and it's fun. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. It's amazing. It's a fun pop song. Um, and then also I love... Um, ah, hmm. What else do I love? Um, I recently started listening to the Beach Boys again and started studying Pet Sounds, the album again, and it's just incredible. There's something about it that, um, well, I don't know, I think it's one of the best albums ever made. So if you don't know that, then it's definitely worth listening to that again.